Welcome people, today we are reacting to my own comment section. Now, for the most part, it's pretty civil in the comment section, a lot of nice people down there, but when I upload a game, whether it's the 53 points in one half or 95, 79 point games, when I upload these high scoring games, People get really fucking sensitive. So I'm gonna be reading through the comments. Every video I was like, yo, I need to address this. And then I get on to record and I never talk about it. So I was like, yo, I'm gonna dedicate a video to it. Uh, and I mean, a lot of people, it's it's like when you go to my comments, it's like a war zone in there, right? And some, it's like everybody has a different opinion and they all believe they're right. So it's sometimes it's not even worth debating, but I'm gonna get into this, let's go. <clears throat> now, this video here, now this was, I, I, Thoroughly enjoyed making this video. It was yesterday's video talking about the substitution screens and how this shit is fucking impossible to use. But damn near everybody has something positive to say. I I've seen like a couple people like Agent. I think you're really nitpicking. But literally everybody else had a problem with this shitty ass fucking sub screen, right? But I got post one high scoring game. Oh, we're about to get into this. So the number one comment I get is. There we go, Agent just posted, prepare for patch 5, guys, like, Agent, hey, stop showing these vids before 2k ruins the game. You know how often I get, I get this, I read this, like, at least 10 times a day. And on the video, on the, on the days I upload this video, maybe 50, 60, you know, pushing 100, depending on how well I did that game. I need to put the situation in context for y'all. 2k already patched the sharpshooter. There's no argument that when the game dropped, the sharpshooter was ridiculously overpowered. We were making contested shots, all right? So, a sharpshooter's best ability, a stretch big's best ability, is to shoot threes. You should be better than playmakers and shot creators by a large margin at shooting those threes because you can't shoot off balance or move around like they do. It's early 2k, right? So, it's like a public beta. I've said that before. 2k is looking for some shit to patch. You're like, hmm, hmm, hmm. We hit a sweet spot 2k patched us to the point where it was a fucking pretty shitty archetype and then they brought us back with a little little bump right there actually a couple bumps a couple buffs so they did that the sharpshooter is in a good spot if you're open right now you should be able to make your shots on a good release if you're contested there's a really high chance you're gonna miss as it should be i fucking hate when people make contested shots on me in any of the 2ks but 2k is not based on their whole decision to nerf some shit on me. Now, I wish I was that important, but I'm just not. I'm playing. You, you think a good team would allow me to drop 95? You think about that? Like, if you think by that time, you don't think a team would double, triple? I mean, teams try, but the teams I go up against likely are teams that, first of all, stay in the game. They have patience because a lot of times I'll play a game, perform phenomenal. Team would quit because I dropped 40 in the first half and they're like, I, I can't have none of this. I don't want, I don't want to be on YouTube. So I'm playing trash people. So of course they're not going to be, if I'm a good player and if my teammates are dedicating the entire game that game to set me up for shots, I'm going to make the shots. Like if I score three shots off rip in the first couple minutes of the game, three threes, I, I literally tell the team, yo, find me this might be the fucking huge game so when it happens the team just knows set three four screens for me set me up i'll hit the corner bang corner specialist so i mean we, we know how we play we know it's like a system when i score these points it's not just me it's a whole team so you can't do this on your own but let me put it into like let me set the let me give you a macro view of what's going on here's a youtuber mark J. i've been following him for years now he's a call of duty youtuber now he is one of the YouTubers that posts some fucking phenomenal gameplay. So I watched a lot of his Black Ops 3 shit, and he dropped some crazy double nuclear gameplays. He'll, like, look at this, 84 kills in a TDM. He got 84 out of the 100 kills for his team. He'll post this phenomenal... You think Activision looks at him and goes, let's, let's patch that weapon right there? Because he can use he uses the worst weapon and still performs well. I wish it was that easy in 2K. You can't just make a bunch of fucking archetypes. That costs you a shit ton of VC and a million hours of fucking grinding for the badges. And keep in mind, he's a channel with, oh, he just recently, a couple months ago, hit a million subscribers. So you think, channel, 100,000 subscribers, makes that kind of impact? I want you to be clear that 2K isn't patching stuff solely because of YouTubers. 2K is patching stuff because of complaints. If you complain enough, because people did when the game first dropped, they will patch whatever you're complaining about. And on top of all that bullshit, if you don't believe any of that, Mike Wang says, on October 14th, nothing changed with shooting. He literally said the patch they were gonna do, the band-aid fix that was initially put in there to help people shoot, just to kind of make up for the fact that there was a shot meter glitch, the one that they were gonna take away. He said, we're gonna keep it in there because you guys complained enough. 
Like, if you read this tweet, he talks about just addressing those who are saying shooting is too easy and field goal percentages are too high. I'm aware of it. Hank responds with, what about when sharpshooters and stretch bigs with all Hall of Fame badges shoot wide open off a Hall of Fame dime or pass and miss, huh? What about that? Because that was happening a lot. Aggressive Deer replies with, nobody is complaining about making shots. Just because you got dropped off by a sharpshooter doesn't mean you have to fix it. You can scroll down this whole timeline. Stop listening to people that can't defend. Uh, they have no defense. People give them too much space. I'm a sharpshooter and they complain when I have 18 on them. Like, the complaint should be, first of all, defense. Not someone's too good on offense. But second, people complained enough on Twitter and whether it was through videos if you're a YouTuber that they said we're not gonna patch this shit. So the only way that I'd have a huge significant impact on whether something got patched was if it was blatant. Like a glitch or a bug or something overpowered was just blatant in the video which is not in mine. Or I literally asked you guys to spam Ronnie and LD and I got a couple other YouTubers to do the same thing to the point where there was enough pressure that they said you gotta do something about this. There's a lot of people complaining. Like they literally stopped a hot, like a tuning, they were gonna tune shooting again and enough people complained, they said, now nah, we weren't gonna do it. So I want y'all to know that's where the real root of the, is this gonna be patched? Is this not gonna be, this is, that's where it lies. It doesn't have to do with me. So I, I had to address it. I felt like I was gonna address it in multiple videos, but then, I mean, I always got to the video and then I forgot that I had to talk about that. It's, relax, y'all. Sharpshooter's gonna be fine. Uh, Matt D says, sharpshooters takes no skills. Boom. Matt D's, I wanna make a proposition to you. Now, since it takes no skill, I want you to create a sharpshooter. I don't want you to get no badges. Why, you, you got skill. You don't need it, right? It takes no skill to use a sharpshooter. And then, with your 86 overall maxed out sharpshooter, without the badges, without any of the grind, I want you to hop online. Now, I want you to do this on Pro-Am, but the walk-in Pro-Am, where you don't have teammates that can set screens for you. All right? Now, when you do this, I want you to drop a 95-point game. Now, I'm going to subscribe to your channel, Matt D's. Uh, let me let me go ahead right here and subscribe. I'm gonna be waiting on the video now If the video doesn't come out I don't want to hear from you about how it takes no skill because until you can drop what I drop where, where, where are you coming from man? Where, 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 where's this coming from to me? It just seems like a lot of people. It's it, it's kind of like a it's like two It's like a mixed bag the sharpshooters like the sharpshooter. They're like agent We like that you can drop these videos, but we don't want to be the reason that you fuck up the archetype. And then there's the other side, which is agent. Fuck you and all the sharpshooters that come with you. And I'm in the middle, like, one group is just jealous they don't have a fucking sharpshooter, all right? If you, you want to drop whatever you want to drop, just do it. Sharp, we're supposed to be good at shooting threes. What the fuck did you expect? Only one archetype can shoot threes effectively. You think it wasn't going to be beneficial? Blair JGR, real intelligent, dude. You can just tell by the comment talking about sharpshooters is the worst thing to ever happen to 2K. All these guys want to do is run left, right, abuse two picks and drain anything and feel as though 2K is messing them up when they can't hit 100% from three anymore. Shake my head, the 2K community is truly terrible. Blair, you couldn't be further from wrong. Now, I'm a part of different communities, so I can tell you, Call of Duty community for a while was complete AIDS, all right? The GTA 5 community, it's, they're taking people's channels down on that community as competition. There was a channel that literally took another competitor's channel out because he wanted more views. That happens in other communities. Our community, especially for the most part, sport communities, FIFA, you can make arguments, is pretty civil. We got a pretty nice community, all right? You just have to take a step into some other shit to be like, nah, that's fucked up. I'm gonna stay right here with 2K. You talked about the left-right cheese. It's not difficult to stop. Do you have a team with you? Rotate properly. All you gotta do is rotate properly. Now, illegal screens should be patched. It makes it a lot more difficult to rotate. But it's still really easy to go over screens, especially if you have a team with you. That shouldn't even be a fucking complaint. And it's not like we're draining it open. If, 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 if someone sets a screen, which is a way to play basketball effectively, and it gets them open, it's not a moving screen, then they should be able to make the shot. That, that I use I used playmaking, I pick and roll maestro hall of fame with my playmaker all the time. I can bang in threes consistently with my playmaker, not even with my sharpshooter. And then he said sharpshooters is the worst thing to ever happen to 2K. Yo, he said, uh, Blair, real quick, uh, how many of these titles have you played, fam? You play any of them? You maybe, maybe just one or two probably, right? Because if you think that sharpshooters is the worst thing to happen to the whole franchise, you missed out on all these games, man. They all had their own fucking problems. Sharpshooters aren't even the worst thing to happen to 2K17. So I don't know where you're getting off from. To me, it just looks like you're spinning a narrative and exaggerating immensely. Immense, just because you can't defend. It, it, that's all it takes. I'm telling you, because not only am I a sharpshooter, but I defend them often as a wing player. Is they're not difficult to defend. 
you just have to maintain focus because they like the corner. So if they beat you to the corner, they're gonna make the shot. That's how it should fucking work. That's what their badge does. You should know better than to ever leave a sharpshooter open in the corner, or open at all for that matter. Uh, Almighty talking about, what's the music in the background? Description, always. Producers are in the description. Most of the music I use is licensed, except the music from Ross Budgen, which a lot of the times is like the hype up music. He's a great artist and he just puts out royalty free stuff, so on point stuff, Ross. Uh, someone said we only show our W's. A lot of the losses, I record all my Pro-Am games. I literally have them all recorded. I only ever upload if I feel like a game is exciting to watch. Uh, I'll upload if it's an exciting loss, but a lot of the losses we have aren't with my sharpshooter, it's with my playmaker. So, uh, I'm kind of selfish. I, I'm the reason a lot of the team is creating second and third players because uh, if I'm not the sharpshooter, that means we would have no other sharpshooters. So when I use my playmaker, Too Cool now has a sharpshooter, Legend of Winning now has a sharpshooter. Now, since all of them are creating sharpshooters, they're still grinding for their badges. Our chemistry is all out of fucking whack. Waffle Man's post score is some booty cheeks. So it really just feels like when I don't have my sharpshooter, nobody's able to fill the void for my scoring. And so it, it kind of, we take L's. And, and we also have four players and one, one AI, and the AI is very easy to, anyway, long story. We take L's. We took a bunch, we took an L to pl a team with two AIs yesterday. I was furious because I was like, fuck, I should have brought my sharpshooter. Every time I don't bring him, not every time, but many of the losses, I'm maybe 50% with my win loss with my playmaker and about like 80, 85% with my sharpshooter. There's a big difference. Uh, Jackson says, you can just keep those amateur jerseys to fool people. No, I was just too lazy to create the jerseys and I was the, the leader of the team. So I literally got Legend of Winning to sign into my uh, Prime account and he made the jerseys. So you'll see the jerseys soon. I don't I don't think anybody was gonna be like, they're ass because of jerseys, but anyway. <laughs> say AOB, dead ass. You be playing in them Tims B? Yeah, I rock the Tims, the Yeezys, of course. You know we always gotta look swaggy. It's a basketball game, all right? So in real life, if I see you rocking Tims and playing ball, I think you're fucking crazy. I mean, this isn't real life, all right? The shoes don't weigh you down. There's no negative impact. So, of course, rocking the fucking the Tims. Yeah, I need some Tims in real life, for real. Uh, Justin says you're a good YouTuber. I appreciate it. See, yo, and because uh, it's not. It's only the videos where I have good scoring games. I get all these comments. So, just in the middle of all that chaos. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. Brandon says this is why Prime sucks. No one plays it like a real basketball game. Brandon, what is a real basketball game to you? I think some people still live in like the 70s and the 80s when they weren't shooting threes much. You play basketball nowadays. I was just playing the intramurals today, just fucking balling out from three, all right? I like to shoot three pointers. I find players like Stephen Curry incredibly interesting to watch. Then again, I find players like DeMar DeRozan also exciting to watch. So you gotta stop pretending like three pointers aren't a fucking part of basketball. When you go to the courts at your school or at work or at your, your local YMCA, do they got a fucking three point line? They have a three point line. So it is a part of basketball. A lot of people will call it cheese, like agent. I know you chose a sharpshooter and you can only shoot threes. I mean, you can kind of drive, but you're not a fucking slasher. You can kind of, you could barely dribble. You're not, you're definitely not a playmaker. You can't rebound. You're not a glass cleaner. You can only shoot. Even though you can only shoot, it's cheese when you shoot, Agent. Like, if you know, it's not difficult. I should make a tutorial on how to guard sharpshooters because everybody out here complaining like we're impossible to guard us. I guard them too with my sharpshooter. My sharpshooter is sluggish, terrible fucking defense, and I still clamp them down. Guard the corner. That's all you need to know about sharpshooters. Make sure they're not ever, even for a split second open in the corner. That's it. On top, just, just go over screens. Never ever go under a screen. Have your team rotate properly, whether you're playing Park, Pro-Am, my team. Rotation's gotta be on point. Yeah, when you're playing a good player, believe it or not, you actually have to try. Man, I, I, man this shit got me like, yo. Anyway, yo, I don't want y'all to ever get it twisted. I never really feel some type of way about the comment section. Uh, the comment section is really fucked up. So let me give you an example. So Marcus2k, he wrote this comment, right? So if I replied to Marcus2k, and let's pretend Marcus2k said a bunch of bullshit, all right? Let's just say he said some dumb shit that I don't agree with and is a false or a lie. If I wanted to reply to him and put him in check, I'd reply. Then a lot of people would see that I replied and they would also reply. Then for people to read my comment, they have to click view all 12 or 20 replies, right? And so the few people that click that will see my response. Now what makes it worse is that YouTube then decides to throw this comment because I responded and a bunch of you will respond to it afterwards to the very top. And so not only are people seeing the bullshit comment from Marcus now, but they're not seeing my reply. So sometimes I just wanna reply in the comment section, but then I'm like, I wanna hand him the L, but I'd really be holding the L if people didn't actually get a chance to see my fucking response to whatever was just written. I don't feel some type of way about your comment, all right? So if you wanna be critical of me, 
feel free. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be like, oh, can't fucking stand when that guy comments. He always has some shit to say. It doesn't really matter too much to me. I use the comment for feedback, and sometimes when the feedback is not even really feedback, it's just false. Or someone's trying to push like a false narrative or sell some type of thing. I'm like, nah, fam, hold this L. And that's where I be reading some of the comments on the bus on my phone, like. God, do you have to say all that? Shh, I'm just up on 2K videos, fam. You gotta, you gotta cut it. I mean, for the most part, I know y'all down. Like, y'all ain't tripping for the most, like, when people like something, they often don't leave a comment saying they like it, but when they dislike it, it's very likely they'll leave a comment explaining why. So, I don't trip because they'll be, cut. like, most videos, I'm all right. Anyway, I thought I'd make a video reacting to the comment section because there's comments I get on a daily basis I felt like I needed to address, but don't let that overshadow the fact that most of my comments aren't like that and I recognize that, all right? I know most of y'all ain't out there fucking just talking shit for no reason. Uh, a lot of you guys just don't want the player that you grinded for to be fucked up. I just wanted to make this video to let me know if it did get fucked up, it wouldn't be my responsibility. Now, would I have had something to do with it if I made a video saying, 2K, please patch the sharpshooters? Yes. See, when the moving screens get patched, it's not 100% me, but I'll take a sliver of the responsibility because I made a de video dedicated to why moving screens should be out the fucking game. So, until I make that video, relax, sharpshooters. And for the people that think the sharpshooters are annoying, you gotta relax. It's a part of basketball, all right? They're not difficult to defend. Um, anyway, I like reading through the comments. I, I get hundreds on a daily basis now, so it's pretty neat. Uh, I often get overwhelmed, like, yo, I, I missed it. How did I not see this comment here? It's a nice comment. Let me, let me gazzle this comment. Put this one in the bank. <laughs> I really have, a, like, a, a bank of gazzled comments. I don't know why I do it. But sometimes when I read, like, a, a really amazing comment, like, it was funny or it really meant something, I usually save it. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. Uh, I have to do a podcast and start studying for my exam. So, uh, by the way, we do the podcast over at Legend of Winnings channel. We talk about NBA and all that for the new people that don't know the AO podcast. It's part of the reason why we call it Pro Am Team AO Anything. It's just, I guess, I, I thought of the name for a podcast and it kind of just became squad name. So, I'm going to leave a link in the description to Legend of Winnings channel if you guys want to catch us on there. By the time this goes live, we are live currently or we already like passed it and you can watch it it'll be archived and uploaded to this channel uh anyway i'll catch you guys later i'm out peace this is a long video